go. That's perfect. Look, I don't even think we're going to get our feet wet. Oh yeah, righto. <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking for an inflatable boat um, that we want to take on our journey um, with the motorhome and the chimney. Um, we weren't to, we, we had to sort of look at the application that we're, we're not really going to be going into like surf or that sort of thing. No. Um, so we started out looking at inflatable boats, boats like yeah. a dinghy type thing. They'll call like a, a big duck. A, uh, yeah. one called a big duck. Big duck. And, and I really wanted a big duck because yeah. I think I would enjoy <laughs> a big duck. But um, anyway. But anyway, so and then we thought, well. It, it's going to need a um, an outboard motor. Or an electric motor. Or, uh, or Petrol, an electric, electric one. Yeah. Petri yeah. Um, and so something that we need to consider with the motorhome um, is weight. And room. And storage. Yeah, and everything like that. So we um, we thought what we, we would do is, is look at inflatable kayaks. Yeah. Um, and we've arranged to meet Lee. Lee, yeah. From... Kayaks for fishing. Yep. Um, here this morning, and he's going to give us a demo. Okay. How are you, Lee? <laughs> Fantastic. We're on the water. We're yeah. On the water. <laughs> oh, we can't wait. This is amazing. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, it's just unfolded. It's magnificent. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Fantastic. All right. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to get our azito, and we're going to use it to fill the kayak full of air. So to do that, we're just going to pop the valve stem down. And then we're going to start with chamber one, which is this one here. Shit, it's quick, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lot quicker than that. My lungs are thanking you already. <laughs> <laughs> what <Or> this? <laughs> How's it go? Like this. <laughs> so because we're using a uh, powered inflator, it's mm -hmm. not, not the same one that comes with the kayak. All we're doing now is we're filling the kayak full of air and then we're going to come back with the, uh, the double action hand pump that's provided with the kayak and bring the kayak up to pressure. Once it's up to pressure, you're on the water in no time at all. Wow. So these kayaks, uh, these runs are rated for open ocean as well. Oh, yeah. So there's a second baffle down here, a second chamber they call a baffle that goes around the inside, and that means that uh, it's got extra flotation while you're out there in the water as well, out there in the open ocean. So we're going to do this one as well. This one's nice and quick. Oh, yeah. All right. That's now, great. this bit here. This bit here is the drop stitch floor. So this one is removable. It's the same technology they use to make stand up paddle boards. Oh, okay. So when you inflate it to pressure, this one's only six PSI. So it's a low pressure floor as well compared to some of the others on the market. It's quicker to inflate. And uh, when it goes out there, it, you're in effect sitting on a stand up paddle board. So it gives the kayak amazing rigidity and uh, that converts to on the water performance oh, too. Wow. So you can actually stand on that. You, outside, you can, yeah. you can. This one's a bit long to stand up, but yeah. it is rigid enough to stand up. Oh, and, cool. Yeah. That's right. Enjoy it that. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's ninety percent of the work done for us with this little thing here. Yeah, wow, that's, really that's great. Done. Now this one is the pump that comes with the kayak and it's uh, double action so it pumps on the way up and on the way down. Oh that's better. So you're doing twice as much uh, twice, twice as much pump. impact for uh, <laughs> half the amount of work. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to change over some of the adapters and we're going to yep. bring these chambers up to pressure. Here we go this one here. Chamber one you just have to fill this one with air. So this one is the, the first one you need to pressurise. Alright. And then we're going to switch over to the other one. That's it. 
Wow. Wow. So, you know, that's four minutes, 30 seconds. And I was talking. Yeah, and you were talking. <laughs> Absolutely. That's uh, So there quick. is one other, a few other things that we need to do. So this one is really cool, especially for kids and dogs. Yep, okay, we've got one of those. A dog. A dog, not a kid. Not a kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because of this feature here, so when we talk about inflatables, one of the best parts is that we're talking about material. And with yep. material comes a certain amount of other things that you can add, like zips. Yep. So this one has a zip down front deck, so you can use this deck space here with the bungee, and it's all fully adjustable as well. Or, if you've got kids and dogs coming on board, you can undo that, pull those back, and then zip this down. And fold that back. Oh, oh yeah. perfect. So this becomes this becomes Pooch yeah. Paradise. Yeah, mm. I was I was wondering how that worked because I saw it on the um, on your YouTube video yeah, and yeah. I thought, oh, okay. It's a fantastic feature that's that only available with, with uh, kayaks like this, yeah. Yeah, wow. that's great. So, uh, we'll zip this one up. And I'll show you the last few things that we need to get on the water. One of the other cool features actually, I have this in the car and I don't, I don't usually show it off. I don't know why, it's an amazing feature. So this thing here is called a Deep Six, 30 <laughs> litre rubber backpack. Yeah. So it's incredibly spacious inside. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of room in there. Oh, yeah. cool. But in a sense, what it is, it's a, it's a dry bag. So you, you put all your oh, stuff in yes. and you roll that up and see these clips at the top? Yep. Yep. They, they uh, clip down to the side and then pull tight. So anything that you're carrying with you, keys, wallet, phone, sunnies, lunch, yep. anything yep. like that, can go on the front of your kayak. And this bag is made by Advanced Elements. Wow. Specifically ah, for this reason. Yep. So that clip is designed to clip onto here. Uh, so you've got four, oh, oh, that's four cool. clips. Excellent. And everything you need is in the bag. It's watertight. Wow. Even at the front here. That's so perfect. this pocket at the front is actually waterproof. So when you pull the zip close, there's hardly a oh, seam yeah. there to worry about. Oh, so wow. your keys and phone can go in the front there. Yeah, and um, similar wow. to a bike jacket. Though. Completely yeah. waterproof, yeah. Wow. So that is a very cool we'll feature. Get one of those. <laughs> very yeah. cool feature, yeah. Yeah, they're cool. Very good. So yeah. you can, you can uh, clip those on like that. That's a great place to store everything. Yeah, perfect. Yep. And Excellent. they're fully adjustable too. So depending on how much gear you have, um, you can adjust the straps and everything around it to keep it tight. That's perfect. Now, Gosh. under here is the last few chambers that we need to inflate. So under here, we've got what are called deck risers. So a okay. little bit of a different, um, different mechanism here for the valve. So we don't need the pump. You can use the pump if you want to. There is a special attachment. I usually use my mouth to do these, but because yep. we've got company today, yep. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to use the pump. So watch watch the uh, watch the deck on this side when I do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. Oh, it gives you that rise and that. Yep. yep, that's it. And these don't need to be pressurized. That's why it's easy to just use this. You're filling it yep. with air. They don't need to have a specific pressure. But what that basically does is it gives the kayak a chisel. So mm. if you get water over the front, it's more likely to run off. Yeah. Gotcha. Perfect. Um, right. Now let's get some seats in. So this one here is the uh, deluxe seat from Advanced Elements. And it's got a really cushy bum pad. Easy yep. to clean breathable but the best feature is the patented system they built into the back of the seat so if you're someone that um, could use a little bit of lumbar support while you're out on the water this little tube that comes from behind there yep you can uh, blow this up with your mouth while you're on the water and it kind of raises this part here that's perfect wow yeah look at that that's so, so good. if you if you're doing long distances mm. uh, this thing is a real yeah. fantastic feature indeed god they've really thought of everything they haven't have, they? Yeah. Um, now, one other feature we haven't talked about in this kayak is that all of the Advanced Elements kayaks can be paddled solo or tandem. Mm -hmm. oh, so, right. so if you're paddling solo, you've got three positions here. So these ones are seat clips. Yeah. So this is for the front passenger. This is for the rear. 
Yep. And if you're paddling solo, you use this one here. In the middle. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So let's say uh, we're paddling tandem today. So you install the seats in under 10 seconds. They're that easy and they're adjustable while you're on the water too. So you'd simply bring the rest your back where you wanted to and then pull that strap pull that. until it's until it's comfortable for you. Wow. So well done, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I'm yeah. just so impressed. Yeah. They're very impressive when you see them in the flesh. When you uh, see them online, it's easy to be skeptical, you know? Because yeah, well, that's what yeah. I'm, that's an inflatable. Like skeptical Susie was, I think. Well, yeah, I was just concerned there wasn't going to be enough room for Tonka. But yeah. that's why I want to sort of see it in real life. And then you can judge, you know? Like even there. Yeah. Because I'm only a short ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're nearly uh, there now. Look at that. The last thing that Too we need easy. to do Crazy. is install this one here, which is called a fort. Same kind of thing, we're just inflating this till it's full. Yep. And then this one just goes in here like this. And that, that provides a, a footrest for the person in, in the back. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and it kind of Velcros there. You can have it like that if you wish. Or if you're a tall person, you can have it like that. Cool. This person can usually bring the seat back too, so it's rested against the back here. So it's comfortable yep. for the person in the front. Yeah. Comfortable for the person in the back as well. Um, now, there is one other feature here too that I can mention. So up the back with these valves here, um, they have a like a safety mechanism too. If something happens to happen to the valve, you know, a lot of people think that it's just going to bust and you're, oh, yeah. you're, you're sinking to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> but even, they, they include safety features everywhere that you look. And one of them is in the cap. So inside the cap, instead of just having a cap that's preventing from dust, they put an O-ring in there as well. Oh, yeah. So when you pop this on, it's actually airtight. So uh. if there was a slow leak for whatever reason, I've never seen it, but if there was a slow leak, that cap is going to prevent anything from happening while you're on the water. Uh, right. So every one, every valve that is in the in the kayak it has that ability oh, so even good. this one here the drop stitch floor they've got one too yeah. so, so you've got you've got a bit of room here in the back yep yep and then you've got room in the front yep uh and then without kind of you can kind of see that the, the tube of the kayak kind of starts here yeah so there's quite a bit of room mm. um perfect weight wise um it's kind of you probably with this one you probably want to manage um Two people but it's easy to move with one yep um and yeah one of the other features with this kayak that's really cool is they call it uh, a convertible so you can convert it from a two-person kayak into a one-person kayak yep uh but you can also convert it from an open deck which is what you see here into a closed deck so down here you've got this it looks like just the deck system but if you look underneath it's actually a really heavy duty plastic zip oh yeah right. and you can purchase these um deck conversion kits you can buy them in tandem or solo and they actually zip onto that deck and they close the whole thing ah, in yeah. so if you are someone that wants to use this kayak for an open ocean adventure uh, you can buy the conversion kit and that'll give you a small cockpit right and then you can put a spray skirt on oh, so right. a skirt that you wear yeah a lot of wear. the customers that i speak to uh they use the spray skirt for open ocean but there are there are a much greater portion that use it uh, to paddle in colder climates. Ah, yeah. So they keep, uh, you know, a couple of hand warmers, throw yeah. them in the kayak, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're paddling in winter and on either side of winter. So mm. they invest in a beautiful kayak like this, and in Australia when it gets cold, cold, they're still out there on the water. Yeah. It's fantastic. Mm, that's a great idea. Yeah, great idea. Um, right, feature-wise, this kayak is what they call an advanced frame. So it's the advanced frame range of advanced elements kayaks. And the reason it gets that name is because of this feature up the front here. So behind here is an aluminium rib. So it's about three millimeters thick and it goes all the way up to here. So that aluminium rib goes from there all the way around, all the way down and finishes probably about here. And what that does is it creates this beautiful chisel in the water. Mm. And as it's cutting through the water, the, the water actually peels off the bow. So that combined with the drop stitch floor that's built in to give it rigidity provides this amazing kayak that performs like a hard shell and uh, speed 
straight line tracking, just overall performance is fantastic. The other element too is um, in the drop stitch floor and with the seat that you've got here, you're not sitting on the water like some of the other inflatables. Ah, yes. The, mm. the drop stitch floor sits up a bit and then the seat sits up even further. So what happens is you're up a little bit higher yep. and when you're paddling, you're getting a really nice efficient mm. paddle stroke as you paddle. Mm. So that converts to on the water performance as well. So yeah, wow. just a really nice kayak. A lot of people think that uh, what you see here is is the tube and if, if something happens to what you see here, then it just goes bang and you're sinking and mm -hmm. that's not the case. So uh, this kayak in particular, this whole material here is made out of three different layers of PVC tarpaulin and they're sandwiched together. Mm. Uh, they're scratch, abrasion, puncture resistant, all that kind of stuff. And then let's say we have this magical knife that's waiting in the water to come and get you. <laughs> let's, say, let's say it gets through that part there. Then you've got this part here. So this part here is a ripstop fabric. So it's designed to uh, not cut, fray, yeah, or anything like that. Yeah, ripstop's great. I've got yeah. that on trucks. Yeah. yeah. Truck tarpaulin. Incred incredibly. Put a thing and try to pull it, it won't rip. Thick and rigid. Yeah, that's mm, right. And then behind this, is the PVC tube and PVC is incredibly strong. It's the same yep. stuff they make rubber ducks out of. So mm. when people say, oh, are they safe? Are mm. they gonna, is it gonna, am I gonna get a puncture? Well, chances are incredibly slim because mm. you've mm. got four layers, well, five if you include yeah. the PVC tarpon, five layers to get in there before you even think about touching air. Wow. You'd have to abuse them pretty bad for it even to. Yes. yes. In addition to that, the tube, a lot of people think that the tube goes right up to here, it doesn't. It goes to about here, so it kind of comes around here like this. So this aluminium rib frame actually comes to here and the tube starts here. So when you think about, you know, maybe potentially hitting something yeah. from the front, you've got this rubber bumper, then you've got the uh, aluminium rib frame. You can kind of see it there and it's yeah. it's rock hard. Yeah. yeah. Then behind this hull material at the front, you actually have this stuff here, which is like a really thick plastic as well. So this one goes in here to kind of give you shape at the top. And no then way. that plastic material is actually all under here and it goes back to here. You can see the line here. Oh, yeah. So it's oh. rock hard, wow. rock hard. So yeah, people think that, you know, you're gonna hit a tree while you're paddling and it's all over. You know, you've got mm. the rib, then the gap between the rib and the actual frame, yep. uh, the, the tube. And then you've got the plastic and then you've got the five layers of material well, before you get to yeah. there. So, so we're not going to drown. <laughs> no. I hope not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can swim. <laughs> uh, and then the last thing I want to share with you here is uh, the four part paddle. So oh, yeah. this one is the Adventure Voyage paddle and uh, they're designed by Advanced Elements to fit inside the bag. So oh, the wow. longest part of the, uh, of the, the paddle is the same width as the bag. So yeah. when you pack this down, and we'll do it a bit later, yeah. the paddles will comfortably fit in the bag. So I call it a go bag, yeah. especially for those that are traveling like mm. you guys. Yeah, You pack this in the car, and if you're out somewhere and you're having a coffee and you think, you know what? It's a pretty good day, let's go for a kayak. Yeah, Everything you need to go kayaking is in that bag. Right? Yeah, perfect. Uh, I yeah. like bags. Go bags. He loves yeah. bags. Yeah. Go <laughs> bags. <laughs> um, and then the other thing we can talk about with this paddle is that it has, uh, even though this is their uh, basic paddle, it's the one that we sell the most of, to be honest, because it's an incredibly, like it's only 1100 grams. Yep. It's got an aluminium shaft um, and it's got this thing here too. So this is called feathering. Yep. So you've got three different uh, marks here. And if you look at my paddles, that's what we yep. call zero. Okay. Zero degrees of feather. Yep. And then you can adjust it to be 60 degrees left or 60 degrees right, depending on whatever yep. takes gotcha. your preference. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. it depends on, some people swear by uh, swear by the feathering. I like zero, because yep. uh, I'm a fisherman and that's how I started. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it doesn't seem to stop me when I'm out in the water, especially in one of the advanced frame kayaks. So, yeah. yeah, fantastic, fantastic uh, bit of gear. And these ones are relatively cheap. Uh, they're usually around just over a hundred bucks. So yep. for a paddle, that's really good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, they're uh, worth their weight in gold. Yeah, Fantastic. Excellent. And uh, the last thing that we need to do is to just put the uh, put the paddles on the side. So you've got paddle keepers just here. Oh, that's a great idea too. So that you can carry it down to the water. Don't have to make five trips. No. 
Yeah, carry it They've down really the thought water. of everything, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have, haven't they? And even when you when you think about thinking of everything, so like even even with this, you won't notice it while we're doing it now. But when you get out on the water, you'll notice it because the person at the front oh. is uh, is going to be it's going to be harder for them to reach the paddle. That, yeah, so oh, just, got, that just clicked. The penny yeah. just dropped. I if was going to say. Two, uh, rod holders and they're both at the same length. Yeah. Then this person's going to have to reach forward and this person's going to have to reach back, but they've they've staggered them too. Yeah. Where? yeah Isn't yeah. that clever? It's only yeah. little things. Yeah. 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 Very cool indeed. And that one's that one's ready to go. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. The chance of something happening is so minuscule because of all of the different design elements they've built in. It's it's just incredible. But yeah, the first time I paddled, this was the first kayak I ever paddled and changed changed the way I think about kayaking forever. And now I do it more because it's easier mm. for me to get on the water. Yeah. Before so, that. So what what's the one you're in? So this is a, an advanced frame expedition. Yeah. Yep. So it has the drop stitch floor like the stand-up paddle boards that we mentioned before, but this one is designed for multi-day expeditions. So if you're looking to do, you know, camping trips that are like two and three days long, then this is the one. Uh, weight capacity on this one is 208. So you can carry a lot of gear. And they've built in features like this one at the back here where you can store stuff on top. You can also store stuff underneath as yeah, well. Yeah, that's a great little thing, that so, one. So yeah, it's a fantastic car. Yeah. Brilliant. It's actually very easy to paddle, even just my first yeah. I mean, we've got really smooth conditions here, so they handle well yeah. in the rougher conditions? Absolutely, the advanced frame is what takes care of all of that. So with the uh, aluminium frame in the front and the rear, when you sit in it, it creates a, uh, a feature similar to a rudder. So it keeps it straight uh, and that gives it exceptional performance in chop and windy conditions as well. So. If you're in an environment where you do a lot of paddling in windy conditions and a lot of swell, then you want to look for something that has an advanced frame in the name. Yeah, fantastic. You're doing a good job there, Chuck. I know. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get arms like Arnie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought of everything. It was amazing because when I was looking, I, was, uh, I started off looking at the ones at the B, uh, BS, uh, BCF and all those, and they just wasn't do it wasn't doing it for me. And then mm. I came across that, that uh, page on Facebook, and I went, oh, "These are interesting. The, just the designs and yeah, and all yep. the safety features and everything the, the Yeah, hundred percent. They're uh, they're very impressive. I uh, I remember doing the research thing uh, like oh, you like did too. <laughs> When I first started looking at them to uh, to sell them, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw them. You know, I uh, previous to that I hadn't had much to do with inflatables. I was in the fishing space and had hard shells all my life. And then when I got into these and realised they had some fishing ones, I was sold. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I just couldn't believe how easy it was to get them in the car and in the water. And like yeah. I had an experience a couple of weeks back where you know we've got a four wheel drive and we've got a little runabout car as well and. I planned a fishing trip with one of my mates and my wife uh, had something pop up with the kids last minute and she had to take the four-wheel drive, which is the one with the roof racks on it. And uh, I thought, hang on a minute, I can put the fishing kayak in my little MG and away I go. <laughs> and that includes the motor that comes with it. Everything just packs into the boot of the MG. Mm. And this thing is, you know, I, I have to keep, keep looking at the engine because I keep thinking it's a three cylinder you know it's that small uh, and the kayak just fits in there beautifully yeah. everything everything that uh, goes along with it yeah they're, they're really impressive and you, you've got to see them to yeah to I really appreciate everything yeah, yeah like so if anyone out there wants uh, to have a demo with Lee yeah how do they get in contact with you Lee come along yeah by all means uh, so head to kayaksforfishing.com.au 
and uh, reach out on the contact, contact us page and just let us know that you're in for a demo. Have a look at the uh, advanced elements range online and give us a call if there's any questions or if you want a personalised demo. Yeah, Personalised recommendations Yeah, too. just like Absolutely. we're doing. Uh, well, he's, he's, the demo's fantastic and we're sold, so we'll be getting one. Absolutely. Yeah, very <laughs> impressive. Very yeah. impressive bits of gear. Very enjoyable. So with regards to Packaway, a lot of people, when they talk about this and they start researching online, they inevitably find someone that says they're really hard to dry out. And we always say, if someone is getting a lot of water in the kayak, then there's, there's usually something wrong. So uh, a classic example- So that's like me, all the water in the- Yeah, but that, that'll be literally, be, <laughs> that'll be literally be because it's your first time. Yeah. So It's a paddling style. I just realized at the end I was lifting it up like that. Too high. And the water was going in, so I just made sure it took right. the load. Yeah, yeah, because if you're getting water in the kayak, then there's something not right. Yep. So a classic example uh, is these things here. So these are designed to keep the water from dripping down the paddle. So these, ah, are, yeah. these are drip drip collars. And ah. uh, I, I once spoke to a lady that was having issues drying hers out and she'd taken the drip collars off. Ah. She, didn't, she didn't like the look of them. <laughs> ah. So usually when people talk about the drying issue, they're talking about this bit in here. Okay. So everything you see, especially with regards to the outer deck so here you can see there's a fair bit of water but this stuff is wiped dry so on the underside here it's all coated with resin ah. so there's no there's no issues with that getting wet the water doesn't soak in it's watertight so you just wipe wipe off the deck for any any issues that you find with water and that's literally it so that'll be dry in a couple of minutes yep the inside however it depends on how much water you're getting in and like i mentioned if it is quite a bit then there's something not quite right so we need to focus on why that's happening because it shouldn't be happening but in an instance like this you guys it was your first time out in one of these kayaks yep so there's probably not a lot of focus on paddling technique and things like that no, you're just out there having absolutely fun absolutely none yeah. <laughs> so, i just wanted to make sure we we're going in the right direction <laughs> <laughs> so with regards to uh drying these ones what you basically do is you dry them as much as you can and then just let it sit. If you're in, a, if you're in a, an, an area like this where you've got a bit of sun, you can move it over into the sun for a couple of minutes while you, you know, go to the car, get the bags, whatever it might be to pack it up. Yep. And usually that will be enough. So let's, let's pretend that um, you've been out in salt water. Now today it's brackish out there. There's not a hell of a lot of salt in that water. If you've been out in open ocean, what you're gonna do anyway is even if it is wet, you're gonna pack it up and stick it in your car. Yeah. Because what you'll do when you get home is uh, you'll get a, a gym towel or something like that, give it a wet, wring it out as much as you can so you, you're dealing with a freshwater cloth that's damp, not dripping. And then you'll go around the inside and then you just wipe it down like that. So you're in effect, you're just dampening the, the, uh, the material in the kayak. And what that does is it removes any salt residue that might be there. It's not gonna hurt the kayak at all. It will just make it a little less appealing to look at. So it's just a case of keeping it uh, pleasant to, um, you know, to look at. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So if we were talking about my particular uh, regime today, what I'll be doing is I'll pack it up, I'll take it home. And because these are demo kayaks, I like to keep them in really good nick. Yeah. So I'll wipe them down anyway. Um, conscious that the, some of the some of the stuff that we were paddling in today has some weeds and things like that mm. so I'll wipe the kayaks down and then I'll just leave it in the garage um, till this afternoon and by that time everything will be dry and I'll pack it up from there right so with yeah. the salt leak uh, there's no need to hose it all down no yeah, no, no definitely not Good. now having said that yeah. because this stuff here because the outer cover is all waterproof yeah you can certainly hose down the outside and the hull as well yep. but just try not to get any water in here Inside. not because it will hurt the kayak yep. but because these these bits here like i mentioned will just take a little bit to dry yep. out mm. and we need to try and keep the whole process as quick and efficient as, mm. as possible yeah. for everybody because if it's quick and efficient then you're more likely to go out paddling and that's what we want to see yeah um, with regards to the seats, so we've got a little bit of water on the seats today, same kind of thing. Just leave them in the sun, they don't fade or anything like that. So just uh, let them dry in their own time. You don't have to stress out, it certainly won't oh, hurt the kayak. That's a good idea too, like yep. a little pocket for Oh, in the back. That's great. Wow. Yeah, so in, in, a, in addition to that, so you've got a little pocket here for your, for your phone, or if you don't want to use uh, your phone in this, you, you want to use a dry bag. Um, typically, you know, the dry bags have the clips at the yep. top. So that's what this is for here. 
So you put the clip in there, oh, right. and then it'll hang off your bag oh, like that. Okay. Thought of yep. it really. Yep. Right That's impressive. Um, and one thing I didn't mention before is that these actually have boating plates. So you can see down here that they're actually listed as boats as well. Oh, with maximum we capacities and, and all of the legal stuff that uh, that you need. Oh, oh wow, perfect. All right, so uh, pack up wise, it's a little bit of the opposite of how we set it up. So first thing we'll do is just take off all of the things that are clipping in. We're going to undo these valves and just give them time to uh, deflate on their own. While we're doing some unclipping, we might as well let these ones deflate as well. So the valves, the valves here are a patented system. So they have a spring-loaded system. So if that's that's airtight right now, I can press it in and the and the air starts coming out. If I press it in and then turn my finger 90 degrees, it locks into place. And then this one's going to be loud. <laughs> yeah, they get in quick. <laughs> yeah. And then that'll just uh, that'll just uh, deflate while we're working on other stuff. So we can unclip our little deep six deck bag. That'll be good for lunch. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. They float too if they fall in. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let me get my pump and I'll show you a little trick. Oh, good. I like tricks. <laughs> Anything more, the more tricks, the better. <laughs> so every every pump that you get uh, has a deflate function. Even the little yellow one, the double action hand pump that comes with the kayak itself, that has a deflate function. And what the deflate function does is, is it just allows you to get all of the air out of the kayak. Yep. And it, it's your superpower when it comes to putting it back in the bag. You can do it without. Yep. But this just makes it so much easier. Uh, so there, definitely yeah. don't sleep on the deflate function. <laughs> uh, right. The other thing that is really easy to forget at this point is undoing these ones here. So these ones have still, the deck risers have still got air in them. Oh, yes. So just make sure they're undone so that when you start folding, um, it will go back into the bag easily. Likewise with these ones. So we're going to pop these out. So set up time with the convertible elite the one that we're looking at here you know it's a tandem so there's a few more things to do and they're a little bit bigger you're looking between six to eight minutes yep. if you if you've done it before and you, you you're by yourself and you're just going going for it pack up though is a little bit different so six minutes for setup you're probably looking at between three to four minutes for pack up so wow. it's pretty pretty quick mm. uh, right so once you've once you've done that you're ready to deflate and on this pump the functions just on top so you can hold it in and it'll pull all the air out That's it. Yeah. Now we're ready to, uh, to pop it away. So there are folding instructions that come with the kayak and they're definitely worth, um, they're definitely worth adhering to because there's quite a bit of, uh, there's a few little tricks that you can do. Uh, and one of those is just folding it up the right way. So for instance, uh, at the moment, our valves are at the back and if we're starting at the front and we're folding the kayak this way, where any air that's still in there, we're pushing it out as we go. Back the valve, if yeah. you start here and you push it in, you'll get to the point where it's all ballooning at the front. Uh, yeah. If there's any air left, there shouldn't be much in there because we've used that deflate function. All right, so first thing we do is we just fold it in half. And then because you're putting it back in the bag, now I probably wouldn't worry about this because I'm going to unpack it when I get home. But if you're not, this is the point where you would wipe the, the back of the kayak down. Ah, yes. Just to keep all the grass out of your bag. Now, one thing I just noticed, I'll, I'll just show you this while I'm, while I'm working. You know, people say a lot, you know, whether these kayaks are robust and how long they last. On the end here, you'll see a serial number. Yep. The two numbers on the very end 
uh, the date that it was manufactured. So this kayak was manufactured in 2019. Wow. And uh, I've used it as a demo kayak, so it's seen a lot of um, beginner paddlers and a lot of people paddling mm. of different styles and types, and it's still going strong. So, you know, what's that? That's, you know... Five years. Five years mm. old, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. yeah, it's Great. still going. Never had an issue with it at all of wow. any sort. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, right, so now yeah. we start uh, folding. So one of the tips I can give you is this, this bash guard here is kind of your first folding point. So you kind of hold it there. Yep. And then of course we're exposing the under bit, so we're gonna wipe that. And then we hold our hand here, go again. Now we're kind of halfway now, so what I'll, this is how I usually do it, and I I'm, I'm, haven't had any issues, but I'll go there again. Uh, that's a good idea too, to do it Yeah. Get the ends. And then we go here, over the top. Yeah. And then those valves are still open, so at this point you're not blocking too much air off, so if there is any air left in it, you can push it out. Oh. Okay, now, the next bit's all about saving your back, so you're not going to yeah. try and pick it up, and you're not going to try and put it in the bag while the bag's standing upright. What you're going to do is you're going to sit on your sit here like this, pop your knee on that bit, and this corner here is going into this corner here. So you grab that and you use the floor to slide it along. And once it's in that direction, you slide the other half in, and that's oh, it. Perfect. Oh, I like the stage they, they, they don't make the bag uh, like you know you buy a tent and then you can never get back in the bag. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah. definitely not like tents. Uh, we have to be an origami champion to get them back in. <laughs> I've had they, a few of them in the past. Yeah. The, the bags are incredibly robust and they're lined as well with waterproof material. Oh, wow. So if you do get water in and you pop it in the car, it's not really going to leak out. Um, and they make the bags so that it's easy for you to pack up when you finish as well. So from there, we've got the two seats that need to go back in. Thwart, which is nice and compact you can get that into any any crevice really and then we can stand it up And then at this point, if you're putting your paddles back in, that's what you would do. So you'd undo your four part paddles and start to slide them in. So it's, it's excellent. When we're looking at the four part, you know, because it's a tandem, we're putting eight pieces in and there's still plenty of room for the, uh, the paddles to go in as well. So yeah, they don't, they don't make them like tents. No, thank God. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's great definitely thought of everything and then the last thing that you want to do is you do what we call the cowboy so you jump on it <laughs> jump on it like that yep and that's it wow so easy tandem kike so in a bag that's so well so good so good and uh one thing we didn't talk about at the start um is the backpack straps as well oh that's right yeah so you can it's about the size of a you know medium sized suitcase you can carry it carry handles because it is a tandem it's a lot there's a lot more material so yeah. it is kind of beneficial to carry it with a partner because you you're going to have two people anyway mm. so you might as well carry a side each but if you are in a position where you are wanting to paddle this one tandem then you can just simply lift it up onto your back and carry all the weight yeah, on your back on your like back. a normal backpack yeah, yeah. too easy <gasps> so good mm. i'm so impressed i am too yeah that's it beautiful great Good stuff. Thank you, Lee. Thanks, you are very Lee. welcome. Much that was yeah, awesome. Very welcome. Really good. Now we'll buy one. <laughs> yeah, now we'll get one. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao. Thank you. So, are we cooking? We are, we're cooking. Okay. Look. Have a look at this. Look at this. 
Oh, yum. Yummo. So, so what did you think, Church? I loved it. I thought it was great fun, mm. hey? It was great. And that it, that inflatable kayak, the advanced elements, just ticks all of the boxes, doesn't it? It did. It, it, um, it's compact, light. It stores so well. Mm. It, and it's quick to put up. Yep. It only took, like, um, Lee about oh, eight minutes, and that was talking. Mm. Sorry for eating at the same yeah, time. I'll put that we're, down. We're starving. But um, <laughs> no, it's great. So we're down at uh, Wellington Point now, and uh, yep. the tide's out, but it's still a beautiful little spot. Weather is fantastic for winter. Yeah. Sitting here in a t-shirt. Yeah. But no, very, very good. It's, We're really it's... impressed. And Lee was just a lovely guy from the yeah. from kayaksforfishing.com.au. And then we um, we ordered one. So Lee's going yep. to send the invoice. Uh, we got all the extras and the yep. bells and whistles. So we're hoping to get that in the next um, next week sometime, maybe. Mm. And then we'll be out doing some little adventures. Mm. And the good thing is for the for having that on board, it's going to open up a whole lot more opportunities. Are you right there? <laughs> Just spat at me. It's going to open up a whole lot more opportunities for us when we're out on the road in the motorhome because you see people pulling up to the free camps and they're, you know, they're, they're sitting there next to a creek or um, enjoying the view, but we can actually get out on the water. And even though the, the tide's out now, I don't, I'll just um, pan this, this around. Wellington point. Um, it's yeah. actually a, it's actually a sea kayak too, so you can actually the, today it's like glass, so we could actually take it out here, which is Morton Bay. Mm. And um, I just said to Susie, we yeah. could actually paddle over to um, Peel Island, which is yeah. probably only takes us about twenty minutes, but yep. it's such a calm day. Yeah, so I'm really excited to get it now. Yeah, so am I. And I'm really excited to um, see how Tonka handles it. Yeah, because we're taking <laughs> we're taking our staffy with us. Yeah. On the road. So oh, actually, I will home. I will pop a photo of Tonka right here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see what we're talking about. And um, the best thing about it, Lee said that you can carry 240 kilos of weight, which is um, a hell of a lot for a kayak when you think of it. Mm. Um, very very strong very very uh, rated very very strong mm. materials and chambers and everything else mm. so yeah I think it'll be great fun times ahead <laughs> so hey, we're gonna eat mm. ciao for now bye. thank you for joining us thank bye. you bye. <laughs>